G'day guys, how you going? Spanish Gem 669 House of Horror Friday Review. Hope you're all doing very well. The film I've chosen to review for you this week is an American horror film. Initially I thought it was British because they've got British accents, but on IMDb it says it's from the United States, so I'm taking their word for it. We're released in 2008, directed by Glenn McQuaid, and this movie is called I Sell the Dead. And the story to this one is as follows. 19th century justice has finally caught up with grave robbers Arthur Blake and Willie Grimes. With the spectre of the guillotine lo looming over him, young Blake confides in a visiting clergyman, recounting 15 years of adventure in the resurrection trade. His tale leads from humble beginnings as a young boy stealing trinkets from corpses to a partnership with seasoned ghoul Willie as they hunt creatures unwilling to accept their place in the ground. The colourful and peculiar history of Grimes and Blake is one filled with adventure, horror and vicious rivalries that threaten to pull, put all involved into, their, into the very graves they're trying to pilfer. So the film is about this guy who has a history in grave robbing. He and his partner have been caught and they're about to be executed. Before he's executed, this guy tells a clergyman about his life story, basically his memoirs. And this is where we are told just what these crimes they committed were and what they exactly they do. And what they do involves robbing graves and also has to do with the undead. So if you want to know what happens in the film, that's something you're going to have to find out for yourself. But hopefully that rundown, very brief rundown, has given you some indication of what you're in for. And hopefully that gains enough interest. Now my thoughts on this movie. Not as good as I was hoping it to be, to be honest. Uh, it says... Uh, great script, great acting, a must-see film. Fright Night with thrills from six feet under. A devious piece of icky fun. Incredibly witty, a literal gallows comedy. Uh, a comedy horror classic. Surpasses even Shaun of the Dead. With all those great write-ups, I can't help but feel that this is an overrated film, and I was really expecting so much more. I just didn't find this film very funny at all, and that was a great shame because I actually thought the idea of the film was good. And although it's an American film, which I'm surprised it was, it you know the British sort of humour would have come out a little bit because you know British actors, uh, well at least British accents. I know Ron Perlman is in this film; he has a British uh, Irish accent. So, yeah, I just didn't find it that funny at all, and I didn't find it that scary at all, and it didn't have great gore, so it really didn't have any saving grace for me. I know some people got a lot more out of it than I did, which is different of uh, difference of humour, I guess you could say, but for me, I just found myself wanting a hell of a lot more. It really didn't deliver in my books. Uh, the, the production values weren't great. It's not a mega-budget film, but having said that, I thought they did an okay job. There were some areas that really needed more attention. I thought some backdrops were a little bit iffy. It really looked like they were in front of a, um, it was just a, a, a fake sort of uh, scenery, which, you know, for a, a lower budget, I can forgive that. Um, some of the gore, you know, while it was uh, few and far between, it was decent, but there just wasn't enough of it to really save the film. Uh, some of the costume effects of the zombies were decent, and there were one or two scenes that made me laugh. But once again, the just like the gore, the laughs are few and far between. So it does, it promises a lot more than it actually delivers, which is a great shame. I'm only going to give this a two out of five. I know that might surprise a few people, but for me, this one just really didn't work. It's a great shame because, as I said, it had some good actors in it. It had a very good idea, but that idea was just not well executed in my opinion. So two out of five for I Sell the Dead. And, um, yeah, a disappointment, and I'm not actually going to recommend this film. All right, guys, that's it for this Friday. Hope you enjoy this review. Until next Friday, take care of yourselves, keep watching horror, and I'll see you later.